Good morning. It is Thursday and my first Turn left call onto Woods Avenue. I was sent to is for a, a furnace that fell off of the ceiling in the attic. And I got there and it's one of those ducted mini split units. And it did fall off, so in a quarter mile, turn right onto dropped it out Avenue. like four feet. So I need to go pick up materials, some Unistrut, and some threaded rod, and hang this unit back up. I have Peter with me, uh, definitely going to spend a good amount of time here, so. Okay, so here is that unit, which fell from the rafters in the attic. You can see they just hung it up. With four nails on each side vertically, and then put the sandy bolts into the beam and clamped it on with uh, nuts. Um, probably going to be hanging a piece of unistrut on the ceiling, and then putting new threaded rod to connect it. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the power. I'm not going to disconnect the refrigerant lines unless I have to. Okay, so we got the plenums taken off. That way it's easier for us to lift the unit up. Um, the measurement works out perfectly to use these, um, what do you call them? Uh, these threaded rod holders, these like Sammy bolts uh, that come off at an angle. It puts it at exactly 14 inches, which is exactly what we have on these brackets. Let me turn the flash on right here. And same for the other side. And I did cut the PVC. Once we lift it up, we'll put a union there and make sure it's pitched okay. Uh, Peter's just taking off the bolts from the threaded rod because I don't have bolts for it. So we're reusing the bolts that were there. Uh, there is threaded rod up here, but it's all corroded and it's going to be impossible to get the nuts on. So we do have a new threaded rod. We were going to do Kindorf, but with the way the plenum fits, we'd have to go under the entire unit. And that doesn't really make sense to do because we'd be, we'd have like six foot, seven foot lengths of Kindorf uh, or Unistrut. So... Once he's done with the bolts, we'll lift this up, see how heavy it is, and then figure out how we're gonna hang it onto the threaded rod the best way. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. I, or we, had really long pieces of threaded rod coming down, and we mounted it low, and we slowly just worked our way up. That way we wouldn't have to lift it, and hold it up while trying to get it in and we got it all level now I reconnected the condensate piping and it is pitching down the whole way and it's also hooked up to a pump not a condensate drain there's a pump in there that pumps it out and apparently the line could even be above the unit and that's no issue it goes right down into the main waistline of the house um, we're gonna connect the ductwork now and see, make sure everything stays level and that'll be it. So Peter is gonna get some band iron because I wanna give the plenum some support. I don't want them to just be hanging off of the unit. I'm um, thinking I'll be able to do it off of this um, wood. Not sure what that would be called, but it goes in between the two rafters. And I'm going to try to do the same for the other side, just because I don't want to put more weight than necessary on the threaded rod. And I am leaving the threaded rod long, just because I feel like it's better if the unit ever has to be moved or adjusted or anything like that. There's plenty of room to do that. And if it ever vibrates and loosens, at least it'll just slowly go lower and lower rather than just go a little bit down and then snap right off. I don't know, but we're making progress and I think it looks good. It's 
dead center in the attic and it's not hanging off of two pieces of wood and four nails so so we got the first plenum on and taped it up really well but we do have uh, six screws on the bottom two on the side six on the top two on the other side but all the weight is being held up by this band iron which is also holding it up level that way it's not putting any extra weight on the unit itself and we'll do the same with the other side and we also have to connect two ducts from up and over the unit getting the screw in on, goes in on the bottom and then we'll do the top we got the sides done we'll tape it up and we'll hold the weight up with some more band iron so here's the finished product we have the ducts mounted and the unit mounted separately we reconnected all of our duct work i kind of wrapped everything around as neat as i could neatened up the wiring tested it in heat pump mode since it's so cold outside it's about 50 degrees and it operated perfectly it got the second floor up three degrees within about 20 minutes so just wrapping it up now cleaning everything up but overall i think it looks really good and i'm confident that this won't be ripping off of uh rafters anytime soon you can see right here we have two bolts pressing down on each other tightly so that they don't loosen up over time and we also have a bolt holding it up to the or a nut holding it up to the sammy bolt holding that tightly i left plenty of extra rod just in case anything needs to be done um taped it all up screwed it in and he should be good to go for a while i did hang the pvc up a little bit neater and i know it does look like it it does bow here but it's still going down the entire way and I also put a piece of band iron against that piece of wood just to hold it tighter. It's real sturdy now. I mean, I'm shaking it pretty hard. So, unit's also really sturdy. Very, very, very slight amount of movement. Um, and I'm actually not going to strap the refrigerant lines up because I think them not being strapped is what saved them. So. It looks fine the way it is, so that's how I'm going to leave. forgot to record an outro to this video, but me and Peter took about three hours of work total to finish the job, uh, plus an hour going back to the shop to get materials. And I think we did a really good job. The homeowner was very happy with the work that was done. Um, he said that it looked a lot better than what it was before, and the unit was hanging uh, by just one side when he first saw it uh, when he went up into the attic and once he closed the attic door that's when the other side fell down and brought the unit down but that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching uh, hopefully you liked it if you did like the video comment anything you wanna see or anything you would have done differently um, and subscribe